Yo guys, really quick before the video starts, according to YouTube's analytics, 98% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is like, what are you doing, bro? Just hit the button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I wanted to share with you guys how to find shooting star fragments. So this is a very popular thing right now. Players are trying to find shooting stars and get those fragments so they can build magic wands and cool furniture. And I wanted to make a video and share with you guys exactly what you need to do uh, to put yourself in a position to find the shooting star fragments. So essentially what you need to do every night after 7 p.m., you have the opportunity to find shooting stars. Now, the best way to do this is to press up on your uh, joystick so that you can actually look at the sky and be ready for them. Uh, and essentially, you can wish upon these stars. So if you're looking into the sky and you see a shooting star go by, you want to press A as quickly as you can. You want to make sure that you're not holding anything. If you're holding a net, you're going to swing and you're not. it's not going to count. So make sure that you're not holding anything in your hands if you are hunting for shooting stars. And if you see one, press A. Essentially, that will wish upon the shooting star and give you a much better chance of getting yourself a shooting star fragment. Now, they wash up on the beach. They're not necessarily going to wash up directly after wishing upon the star. I see a lot of players on the internet that wish upon the star and immediately run to the ocean and in the sand and look for their fragments. However, it doesn't work that way. You may find the shooting star fragment that night. You may find it the next day, but the more stars that you wish upon, the more fragments that will wash up on your beach and you'll be able to collect them a lot faster. Now, one common misconception is that the, the shooting stars are only in the game uh, when Celeste is in the game. Now, Celeste is the owl that comes, uh, Blathers his sister, and she comes, and when she is there, players think that that's the only time you can find shooting stars. When she is there, that means there's going to be a meteor shower, which means there's going to be tons of shooting stars, making it much easier for you to catch them and, uh, and get them to wash up on your beach. However, if she's not there, do not worry. They will still come, just not as often. Um, I've seen shooting stars stars several times just running around working on other things not even looking at the sky intentionally uh, so if you spend some time sitting somewhere uh, far away from all the trees in the building so that you can see and it's dark uh, you'll have a pretty good chance of finding a bunch of them so again just make sure that you're pressing a when you see them fly over that'll wish upon the star and then at that time later that night or, or the next day make sure that you're walking up and down uh, along the sand on your beach on all sides and look for those washed up star fragments with those you will be able to uh, to build a bunch of cool stuff um, the large star fragments work the same exact way uh, they're just a little bit more rare so if you're looking for those just keep wishing upon shooting stars and eventually you'll get yourself some but this is how to find the shooting star fragments in animal crossing uh, new horizons if you guys have any questions or anything else to add please make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and i'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video